Hey y'all, it's me, Laura. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. I always give jazz hands for your first time. So today I'm excited to do another Dia & Co unboxing and see how they did. <laughs> um, so historically, Dia & Co has not been amazing for me, but I have to say the boxes are getting better and better and I got a new stylish stylish a new stylist last time and um, they did a much better job so i'm kind of excited i did request to keep that stylist and um i don't know if that happened or not but we'll see usually i will would have opened the box by now but today it just came and you know how i like to run to the door <laughs> when the post carrier comes i get so excited and i'm like email um so it literally just came haven't even cut into the box at all so we're gonna do it all together and here we go normally i try to spare you the noises of opening a package because i cannot stand it in other people's videos and no shade to other people because of course you have to open your box and most people like that there's just something about the noises that i don't like Okay, so we've got right on top the return envelope and my little card. So let's see what it says. Gabe, all right, I got to keep my stylus. Hi, Laura, welcome to your new Dia box. I'm so excited to be styling you again. Thank you for leaving more fabulous feedback. I've used it to put together this new box just for you. <laughs> While I wasn't able to include another pair of RWN denim in this box, I chose to try Molly and Isadora jeans for you to try. They're a Dia favorite for their quality and fit. I have seen other people try on jeans from them. Uh, style them with the Marley shirt and add heeled ankle boots and a simple necklace. Layer the look with the Arley cardigan. Ooh, a cardigan! I got so excited. I love cardigans. Um, for a flawless transition from winter to spring in Houston. Pair these jeans with the Paola reversible cami and canvas sneakers for a casual day. Finally, I saw you prefer sleeveless dresses and added the Phoenix flare dress for you. Go for a retro style with T-strap heels. I hope you love and feel fabulous and everything. Have fun. Gabe. So I feel like I finally have a stylist that is listening to my feedback and um, giving me stuff that I'm more likely to like. I mean, I obviously haven't seen it, but um, I appreciate this. Okay, so I'll save, I like to save the prices uh, until later. So I'll put them off to the side and um, we will rip into this bad boy. Tissue paper noise. Okay, we've got something knit on top. This must be the cardigan. It is sheer. <laughs> you can see through it. It's a very bright color. This is by Molly and Isadora. This is the cardigan. It's got, oh, it looks like, um, is it a dolman style when it doesn't really have a defined sleeve seam? And it's short sleeves, so I'm into that. All right, cool. This would actually look cute with what I'm wearing right now. Hmm, interesting. Okay, next, something with butterflies on it. This is something, <laughs> I don't know. Okay, it is a top, oh, this is the reversible top um, by someone. It's from Pennington's. Okay, so this is the reversible top. So on the outside, it's red with black butterflies. And on the other side, it is black with red butterflies. Um, so it looks pretty swingy. Hopefully this should fit. This is not like off the bat. It's not like super my style, but I'm open to liking it. I'm open to it looking cute on me. All right, next up. I've got from Ryan White in a size 4X, a top. This looks very similar to that last top that I kept with the birds. Um, it's got like the same neckline with buttons, sleeveless. So this print is like, 
kind of abstract flowers. It looks nice. Um, I don't typically wear clothes with like white because I'm messy, <laughs> but um, it looks pretty. I'm open. I'm open to it. All right. Next, this is a dress from Mira Lane in a 4X. It is a simple black dress. I can tell you I don't love this fabric. It's like a ponte um, and it feels like it's hot, but it is sleeveless. Um, it's a pretty simple black dress. It looks a little on the small side, so we'll have to see how this fits. And then here are the jeans that he mentioned. I've got Molly and Isadora jeans, 28 mid-rise skinny, okay? They're very stretchy, they feel nice. I'm excited to try these on. So here's what they look like, pretty simple, just a little bit of distressing. Um, on the back the pockets are just plain pockets and they come down and have a skinny leg. Cool, I'll try them on. All right, and that's the end of my box. So I will uh, try this stuff on. So first item is this cardigan. It's that sheer uh, Molly and Isadora cardigan. And I have to tell you, I'm not sure. Um, I like that the sleeves are short. That's good for me with the weather. I like that it's so thin and sheer. The thing that's getting me is just the color because it is very bright. And then with the, I'll do a close up on the material. So it's got kind of like a space dye kind of look. With the white, it's just a lot going on for me. You know, I'm not like a super flashy dresser. Um, I do like this kind of um, cocoon silhouette. It's just easy to wear, it's comfy. Um, I, it's just the color, I'm not sure. I like it, I think maybe I'm just not used to seeing such bright colors and such a large clothing item. I have to think about it, I don't know. If it's inexpensive, um, maybe I would get it just to try it out. But also I need to remind myself, the reason I do these boxes is to get out of my clothing rut because I do have my uniform of what I like to wear. Pretty much the only bright color I wear is mustard yellow because it's my favorite color. Um, and so something like this really does shake up what I wear. So maybe I should get it because that's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> so. I think it's cute. I like everything about it. I do like the color. It's just a lot. So we'll see. What do you think? Tell me in the comments. Do you think I should buy it? Here I am in the black dress and it's actually not too small. Like I thought it fits really nicely. It's just a simple black dress. Um, I don't think I'll keep it because I have something so similar to this already. I mean like very, very similar and in a fabric that I like more than this. I don't think that I really need more than one little v-neck sleeveless black dress that's like fit and flare, you know? Um, but I do like this. I would recommend this dress, especially if you live in a slightly cooler climate. Um, Mira Lane is the name of this. So you can see it has a little bit of a swingy skirt. It's not, you know, one of those bigger skirts that comes out to here and twirls, but it does have some nice movement. It's got princess seams here. It does not have um, an empire waist. So it's not like a skater dress. It's more like a traditional princess dress or like a sheath with a more A-line swingy skirt. So I'll show you from the side and from the back. So I do like this dress. I kind of wish that it was in a color or a print and then I might actually keep it because it's very comfortable. It's stretchy. It fits nicely. I just don't need another dress that looks just like this. Hello. So I just wanted to show you these jeans without any shirts or anything to distract. So these are the Molly and Isadora mid-rise skinny jeans. They're very long on me because I am um, a petite inseam, so I have cuffed them 
Um, I think they look cute cuffed. Um, if I purchased these, I would hem them or at least cut them off or something um, so that I could wear them without cuffing them or cuffed. So mid-rise, I think, is an accurate description. They come up, you know, above my belly button, but not all the way, like, to my natural waist where some, like, more high-rise jeans would come. They have functional pockets, but they're very shallow, like, they're only a few inches deep, which is so weird. My cat's in here now. And um, here's the back, so you can see my frame, yes. The pockets in the back are regular size. It's a very stretchy material. Um, I almost, well, not really, because I don't like to be tight, but some people might even want a belt with these just to feel more secure. I mean, I don't think they're gonna fall down, but um, these are, you know, nicely sized. So this is the size 28. They're very comfortable, they're stretchy. Um, yeah, I like these, they're nice. I can totally see why these are um, a Dia & Co bestseller. I'll throw on some tops now. Okay, so here I am in this white top with the flowers. This is the one that reminded me of that bird shirt that I kept last time. And it's really, really similar. So you can see when I back up, um, it hits, you know, kind of around my hips, goes kind of over my butt, a little over my belly, but mostly not. It's really loose and breezy. The buttons come down to here, so they're not full length buttons. There's one, two, three. Oh, there's only three. And then you just have this open neckline. I like it. It's very comfortable. What gets me about it is the color. Um, I know that it's covered up a lot by the other colors, but I just always end up dropping food on myself, so I just don't know. But it is very different from anything I have in my closet, which makes me kind of want to keep it because I'm trying to get things that I don't already have similar things to. Um, so the color makes me kind of want to keep it to be adventurous for me, but the cut is very similar to that bird shirt that I just kept, so I'm like, oh, maybe I shouldn't. But I like it. This has been a good box. Good job, Gabe. <laughs> um, if anything, it's a little big, actually. So here's the armpits. It could be a little tighter up top, but I feel like then I would lose the good fit down here. That's the problem. That's the challenge with when your top is, you know, smaller than your bottom or vice versa. Y'all know, like, most human bodies are not, like, exactly the same in proportions. All right, one more top. So this is a perfect example of what I was talking about um, with the sizes. This top fits better in the bust. It's not so big, but it's like a little tight around my hips. So it just goes down over my hips, but you can see it's not loose at all. Like when I pull on this, it like pulls my belly in. Like that's how tight it is. Um, and it's not a stretchy material. So that means if I were to sit down in this and not pull it up, you know, above my hips, then it would be super tight and uncomfortable and possibly like, you know, um, pop the stitches. <laughs> so I don't think this top is going to work. I have it on with the black side with red butterflies. You can also wear it the other way, red with black butterflies. Um, this is a no for me because, just because of the fit. And it's not super my style. And if I'm going to keep a top like of the two, I would keep the other one just because while well, it's less of my style, it is different than the stuff that I have. And I guess it is my style because I kept that bird shirt and I really liked it. I guess I have to um, allow myself to have a new definition of what my style is. Hmm, interesting. I guess that's what this is all about, right? <laughs> so, too bad this does not work. Okay, I'm back and I'm ready to look at the prices. So I've got my envelope and I'm pulling it out right now. Okay, the butterfly reversible cami that I know I'm not keeping, uh, size 3X. Oh, well that's why, because it was a size 3X. That's interesting. Um, I don't know why they didn't, maybe it doesn't exist in a 4X. Anyway, that was $44. The black sleeveless dress, $59. The cardigan um, that I tried on first with the bright coral color is $59. 
The white shirt that looks like the bird shirt that I got last time is $49 and the skinny jeans are $65. So minus the styling fee, of course. Let's see. I think what's in the running is the cardigan and the white shirt. Now normally the jeans would be in the running, but here's my thing with the jeans. Number one, they are similar in color to the jeans that I already have that I'm actually wearing today. Um, the ones that I already have are more of a dark denim, which I actually prefer more than that kind of mid-wash blue. Um, I'm really looking for like black denim jeans. Um, and they're full length and I'm about to go into, you know, like basically nine to 10 months of hot weather. So I don't know that I really need uh, a full length pair of jeans. And if I got them and cut them off into like knee length shorts or something, like it just seems like a lot of money to then just cut off half of the pants. Um, so I'm gonna pass on those, but I'm going to request um, if Molly and Isadora make shorts, I'm gonna see um, maybe to do another box coming up, like the next one or the one after, with a bunch of shorts options, so that as it warms up here, then uh, I have options for that, because I don't actually own any shorts, so it'll be interesting to see if I can find some that fit and look cute and are comfortable. So it's between the cardigan and the shirt. I think that because I bought that bird shirt last time, I should get the cardigan. And also, since the color of the cardigan kind of freaks me out so much, I think I should get the cardigan and, um, you know, challenge myself to wear a bright color. And um, I think I'll probably be into it once I get over it. Also, I was thinking because it's lightweight, you know, but just a nice little layer, it would be good to wear when I go to teach because I like to wear a little something and then as I get warm, I take it off. But then when we sit down and they lay down for Shavasana at the end, the deep relaxation pose, I like to usually put something back on because I might get a little chilly in the studio. So y'all, I'm going to get this guy. <laughs> I'm going to get the cardigan. What do you think? It's very bright for Laura Burns. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think that I'm gonna like it. I'm excited to get it. And I have um, the styling fee and I have a credit because somebody signed up for Dia & Co through my link that I always have in the description box. So thank you very much for signing up. It means that I get to buy this cardigan and pay a little less for it. And that's really exciting and cool. I really appreciate it. Um, so yeah, if you wanna try Dia & Co, my link will be in the description box. Um, feel free to give it a try. These boxes are getting better and better. Gabe is the jam. I don't want anyone else to ever be my stylist. Um, I am in love. I'm gonna go leave some more fabulous feedback and um, tell them that I liked everything. Can you believe? Oh, except for that butterfly shirt. But that was a size thing. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this Dia & Co box for January 2018. And uh, we'll see what I get next month. Bye.